Hey friends, Route 20 Guy here in West Brookfield, Massachusetts. I am officially off of US Route 20, and over here to my side is Massachusetts Route 9, but behind me is an original section of highway that carried US Highway 20 from 1926 until about 1932. It remains intact, has not been changed or anything since it was put here in 1921. So let's take a look and explore this lost and abandoned highway of US Route 20. One of the most fascinating things you can find if you're a road geek, historian, explorer, anything like that, is an old highway. And yes, we say historic Route 20, but when we see this old original highway behind us, that's historic in nature. What tells us the date is the bridge here. It is 1921 that this bridge was built. And the materials are pretty much the same and the bridge as it is on the road. So we can only assume that this roadway was put here in 1921. It is built to Massachusetts specific guidelines of the time frame, And this was a cutting edge, state of the art engineering highway of the 1920s. And this is what many states had to strive to be to build their highways, to be up to federal standards. This behind me was a federal standard highway of 1921. So this is well off of US Highway 20. So we're uh, several miles north of 20, north of Brimfield and Surbridge. So it's a little bit of a detour if you wanna get here. The road itself is about 18 feet wide. Uh, each lane is about nine feet wide also for this two-lane highway. This was a little bit wider than a lot of other standard highways across the country. It's actually part of the walking trail um, and forest here, so uh, you can just park, walk on it. You're not trespassing by any means um, whatsoever. Just taking a little look here. I'm not really sure why this was bypassed or moved. Um, probably just to build a bigger highway and this is actually going through a little bit of swampland so that's the only reason I can assume that they moved the highway itself. These sections are pretty rare actually to find uh, many times they just tear them up and or build right over them so to find an intact highway that's almost um, 100 years old next year is very very rare in Massachusetts and anywhere else in the country. Uh, the grass is growing up now between the cracks and you can see the two lane road. So imagine cars coming on this roadway, um, going east to west from Boston all the way to Yellowstone National Park, took this highway. Just a little bit of history here on this part of the highway and why we do call this historic Route 20. When 20 first was aligned in Massachusetts, I went across the state and from Boston it connected to Worcester. And then from Worcester, it followed what is now Massachusetts Route 9 over to the Brookfields and then came down uh, Route 63 and then eventually got down to Palmer. And that was the case up until 1932. The state decided to move the highway. Uh, 20 was supposed to be a connector road to New York City and took a more southern road. And the highway was actually built um, out of Northboro uh, called the Southwest Connector. That's why this part of the highway was renumbered as Massachusetts Highway 9. It's about a 53 mile detour if you want to take Route 9. It is scenic, however, um, if you ask any local person, that nobody will ever say this was Route 20, unless if they are a real road historian and have studied some maps. So you have to look at some of those maps to see that this was actually 20. In our organization, we actually don't consider this to be the tour that you want to take when you're driving on the highway. Uh, we put you on the more current alignment of 20, and we do that in several places, but the one here in Massachusetts, because it's 53 miles, uh, that's a huge detour. And we would be doing a disservice, we think, to other communities that were on 20 that have always thought they were on 20, in regards to these towns who have always thought they're Route 9. And to say that they're 20, um, 
is just a little bit different. So we have that as a map and uh, we will put that in our travel guide when that comes out, that you can take this road if you want to, or you can detour or do a circle around. It's kind of a nice uh, day trip if you're out this way. It's actually mile marker 78 on Massachusetts Route 9 if you're looking for it. We hope you enjoyed this video on a lost abandoned section of Highway 20 in West Brookfield, Massachusetts. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I could be